trying to find the right geographic characteristics, proximity, the right terrain. We know we needed a place to drive the truck. We know we needed a place to work on the truck. We didn't actually put a lot of stock in the probability of, of finding all of that in one place. You could kind of see that the mine was coming to the end of its productive life. It was definitely an impact to the community of schools, you know, roads, tax base, um, big impact to families, uh, had to relocate. We found an extraordinarily ready, willing, and able partner with Transalta, the operator of the site. We're always looking to provide opportunity for our employees and the local community, and First Mode understood that, and it's a value for them as well. It's a mine that is under active reclamation. It's being returned to its natural state. It's a profoundly good place for us to test and develop our systems. The proof of concept truck was to get a demonstrator vehicle as fast as possible to prove that a hydrogen battery haul truck could exist. We didn't have the opportunity to test our hardware in its actual vehicle until we shipped it to South Africa. During the pandemic, you, I mean, South Africa, you couldn't really readily get there. A lot of what we had to do was just based on measurements, uh, pictures. How many batteries we need, how many fuel cells we need, where are they gonna go, how much can we fit? We got one chance basically to get the basic unit correct. It left on a big giant airplane to South Africa and that was it. We go across the track so there's a there's a left turn that we do after that. And clearance we're good for wires. But, oh yeah yeah bikes. clearance clearance is no issue at all. Our systems have to be highly reliable. They have to be flexible. They have to be incredibly safe. And a proving ground allows us to do that. It allows us to find the problems early, fix them early, and come up with a better solution. This next generation of trucks is going to pay way more attention to how are they shipped, how are individual components put together. How do we do this in multiple sites? OK, I've got the road blocked off up here around the corner, so you're clear to come through. Copy. We're not making a new truck, we're doing a retrofit. We're extending the life of the current vehicles with this new system. They'll start off as diesel, uh, they'll journey through being diesel hybrid, and then turn into zero emission trucks. One truck is a three-story building, and there are usually hundreds of trucks at an operation, and there are thousands of those operations around the world. So they're just moving stuff from point A to B, 20, 20 and a half hours a day, burning fuel all the while. What we found in mining was a global problem that needs to be solved because our need for resources isn't going away. For us, it looked like a, an extraordinary opportunity transforming big industries into a cleaner, more renewable and sustainable version of themselves. Their mindset, I think, is in the right spot. It lines up with what Transalta's values are. We're downsizing our carbon footprint in every way. It was incredible to see the interest from the stakeholders here at Transalta, even if it meant us standing next to them and asking questions every two minutes. We work down here side by side with Transalta. It's not just the hardware that we have to invest in, but we have to invest in the relationships. There's a lot of history here that we can draw upon. I never would have thought I'd be building trucks at this mine ever again. Yeah, very exciting. What it means to the town, it's more jobs, more opportunity. There's a little bit of a buzz around here that wasn't here before. It has the opportunity to really bring some development and some excitement to the area. We're working to convert where they used to store explosives at the mine site into a site that can actually bulk store hydrogen. We're building out the roads again to support a truck the size of a 930. That truck needs to be able to deliver on the demands of going up a 10% grade, how it's going to come down. At the Proving Grounds, we had a situation where we could say, hey, can you make a road that's this steep in this way and for this long? Thinking about the product as a part of an ecosystem, you have to think about how to advocate for that product to thrive. Where it goes to refuel it matters how long it takes to refuel. We're developing operational readiness plans, traffic management plans. It makes you a better designer when you talk to the people that have to deal with the systems that you're creating. My name is Tara Lampman, and basically I'm a heavy equipment operator. About a year ago, I heard bits and pieces, rumors that the company was going to come in that was interested in new technology. 
I went to her and I said, hey, it, there's an opportunity here uh, that really fits your skills. Uh, she drove 930 haul trucks back when we were mining. There's no replacement for taking out and actually romping on it, the ergonomics of the operator and other things like that. We want to make sure we're taking into account. What is it that an operator wants when they think about a truck? They immediately think about safety. They immediately think about how this is going to affect the efficiency of the whole mine ecosystem, right? How the truck handles, turning radius, speeding up, the brakes grabby on it, are they smooth? Different drivers have different fuel usage parameters. You're going to be keeping track of all that too. Oh yeah, it may not show up on maybe a reading you're taking or something like that, but they'll know something's different because they have that previous experience to draw on. It all starts off on paper in some way, right? It starts off as a drawing, a schematic, but once you go to actually make it real, you start to learn what works and what doesn't work. And they're asking the right questions on how do you minimize delays around fueling and preventive maintenance and ship changes. Those are the kind of things I'd want to understand as a mine operator. Dirt's being moved, trucks are showing up, people are coming down. It's kind of a buzz in the community. There's a huge opportunity here for this to really kickstart an entire industry. Mining is transitioning, you know, to the clean energy future. It's really fun to be on the, the cutting edge of that transition. Whenever you talk about decarbonizing mining, the impact will not be on mining. It will be in every single technology that is using platinum, that is using copper, that is using gold. And so it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you realize you're looking at an entire ecosystem of decarbonization. What I'm excited about with the Proving Ground is to change the narrative around when this type of transformation can happen. We're ready to do this, but we have to prove it. And it's in Centralia that we're going to show everyone what the team here is capable of.